Alright, so leg four, after starting off at uh, the White Elephant, you go across Surfers Point, uh, the fame break where um, yeah, the surfing competition is held, and then across the river mouth, right, the Margaret River mouth, right where we are right now. You can see our runners heading off, and uh, from here through, we're on the Cape to Cape track. There's a mixture of uh, sandy trails, some rocky sections as well, but uh, it's beautiful running, and on a day like today, when there's this much surf and stuff happening, there's going to be uh, plenty to watch out there as well. So not long after crossing the uh, Margaret River mouth, you, uh, you end up on a bit of sand like this. Look, the early part of this beach was a bit soft, but then it got a bit hard. But look, we're in this uh, lovely wilderness spot like this, and it uh, feels like we're miles away from anywhere, but Margaret River and Preble is just back there. So yeah, after leaving the beach there, you get onto this beautiful open section of the Cape to Cape track through this sort of hinterland, low scrub, like you can see, but uh, you know, op uh, views opening up of the beach and the, uh, the waves and so forth behind us. And meanwhile, you know, it's really easy running, you know, nice sense of flow, not too sandy underfoot, but not soft sand. So, you know, you can wind your way through here, just classic, beautiful trail running, really. So after that heathland, hinterland section is down that long sandy downhill, and you're onto this nice flat double track in the Ellensbrook Valley itself. Uh, so when you know you get here, actually look at that, the toilet stop here, one of the uh, Cape to Cape campsites, you know you're getting close to the Ellensbrook homestead and uh, that midway point on leg four. So after a few hundred metres on that lovely paved surface, which gives your legs a nice bit of a break and get some speed into it, you pop out of the uh, Ellensbrook homestead, this beautiful historic site here. Uh, this was in fact the checkpoint location in 2018, but for 2019 and onwards, we've moved to uh, checkpoint Four through to uh, Gracetown, uh, which adds another six or seven kilometres to this leg, but there's plenty of more nice scenery along the coastline to come. Now, the section between Ellensbrook and Gracetown, I reckon, is deceptively hard. Whilst it is beautiful scenery, you know, on the uh, on the edge of the dune here, looking out over the ocean, uh, it's got quite a bit of soft sand, even though it's a single track, and some deceptive, you know, little undulations that really sap your strength. So. My recommendation for any 80k runner, obviously pace yourself, go easy, save energy for this time of the course, because this is where we'll start to cut deep if you've uh, emptied the cookie jar before, earlier on in the course. So the last couple of kilometres of leg four takes you around uh, South Point there, then along a few nice uh, footpaths and uh, coastal tracks uh, around a bit of the village of Gracetown and then into um, yeah the beach car park and checkpoint location here uh, just at the Gracetown beach. Look, my summary of leg uh, four is deceptively hard, especially the second half. It's uh, a bit, whilst you're on single track, not on the beach, it's uh, a little bit soft underfoot and some sneaky undulations there that you know, really sap the energy of anyone who's uh, tackling the full 80k. So my tip here is one of the crux legs, save some energy for this one and then you've only got leg five to go to bring it all the way home. Good luck.